All right, so in order to sidechain using ProQ3 in FL Studio, the first thing you want to do is make sure your FabFilter ProQ3 plugin is up to date. So the 2019 version or later. All right, so let's listen to the song. So when you're sidechaining, what you're really doing is you're taking an element of the mix that you want to preserve, which would typically be the kick or the vocals, and you're compressing away another element in the mix that you want compressed away to make room for the element you're preserving. So in this example, we are going to preserve the vocals and compress away the pad. And this compressing away is also called ducking. All right, so the first thing you want to do, go to the channel that you want preserved, the mix element you want preserved, the vocals, and then insert an instance of Pro-Q3. And there you can see the vocals. Next, we want to go to the element in the mix that we want compressed away or to duck out of the way, which would be our pad, and add another instance of Pro Q3. There's our pad. Next, we want to set up our sidechain with NFL. So we want to click on the element of the mix we want preserved, which would typically be the kick, or in this case, our vocals. And then we want to shift and left click the send switch, which is that little triangle guy, of the track we want compressed away. So once again, element of the mix we want preserved, vocals. And then once that's selected, we click the element of the mix we want compressed away, which is the pad. And here's the sense which we click. So shift, left click. Cool. So now that's side chained. You can also just simply uh, right click the sense switch side chain to this track. Then we go into the instance of Pro Q3 and search it on the track that we want compressed away, which is our pad. Now we go into the plugin settings, the wrench, and then the VST wrapper settings, the wrench with the plugin. Now we go to the processing tab, and then select our target for the stereo sidechain, which is going to be our vocals, which is appearing because we set up that sidechain in the mixer. So now we can see we've got our vocal in red and our pad in white. So now we want to notch out some frequency regions that we want compressed away to make room. So this will be taking away the pad to make room for that key, the, uh, the vocal. So we click and drag down, create our bell curve. Negative 4 dB is good. We're going to really, I'm really going to dramatize it so you can hear it. Click and drag the dynamic range ring, which is just outside the gain knob. So there's our gain knob, dynamic range ring, click and drag down. Like 4 dB again. This compresses it away. Click the auto to make it manual. Drag the threshold down. And then click the external sidechain button to dynamically link the uh, vocal key that's driving our compressor to the pad we're ducking. And you can see it work. And then we can A-B compare. So when I do it with no compression, you'll hear the pads louder.
and now the compressed version. See how the pad kind of disappears? Like I said before, musically you wouldn't want to do something so drastic, but just showing you how it works. Alright, so that's basically it. Um, I'll recap really quick. So, what you want to do, look at your mix, you know, what amount do you want to preserve and what's getting in the way. So, we want to preserve the vocal or the kick, and generally speaking, we want to compress away the pad. So, we want to duck the pad out of the way of the kick or the vocal. Go into your mixer, insert an instance of Pro Q3 on the vocal, insert a Pro Q3 on the channel that you want preserved, and then also insert Pro Q3 on a channel that you want compressed away, which would be the pad. And then we uh, sidechain, so hold shift and then left click that send switch of the channel we want compressed away. So select channel we want preserved, shift left click to sidechain on the channel we want compressed away, which is our pad. Once that's done, click on the channel we want compressed away, the mix element we want compressed away. Go into Fab Filter Pro Q3. And then go into our plugin settings, processing tab, set the target to our vocals. That'll link the sidechain. We'll see our red with our vocal and the white with our uh, pad there. And then, you know, we can set up another dot. I'll show you, cut out some of the high end of the pad too. And then click on the dynamic range ring Click and drag down for downward compression. Hit the auto to make it manual, set your thresholds. And then click the uh, external sidechain button. Yeah. And let's just do it one more time in the base region, around 150-ish hertz. Downward compression using dynamic range ring. Auto to make it manual, click on that. Drag your threshold down. Click your external sidechain button. Now we've really, really ducked a lot of the pad away. <laughs> so here's with no dynamic compression. Or no, no ducking. And then the pad with ducking. Hear how that pad disappears? No ducking. Now with the pad ducked. And yeah, that's it. So the main thing you want to keep in mind is just what do you want to preserve? And what do you want compressed away? Then set it up. Duck it out. But try to be tasteful. I'm just doing this to uh, illustrate my point. Thanks for watching. I've watched a ton of uh, free tutorials to figure this out. And uh, if you want more information, I'm going to put links in the description of the stuff that helped me figure this out. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.